been playing with OpenAI's latest image generation model, which is an auto regressive image generation, not like the diffusion ones. And it is stunning and you have not seen anything like this before. So I'm going to take you through a few prompts, which will give you result unlike any other image generation tool. But before we move on to that, first I would like to show you what is this new tool and how can you access it? This new one is called 4O image generation or as they call it image gen. This is an extension of GPT-40 model, but now it can truly generate images. Unlike stable diffusion, which is based on diffusion model, which is going to create a noise and then create an image from that. This is truly auto regressive. So it doesn't have to do that. It is almost like generating your text, but instead of generating text, it is going to generate pixels, or in this case, it is going to generate images. So there are very good examples that can make you believe that this is one of the one of a kind of image generation, but you know, you don't have to take their word for it. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples with prompts that will make you believe that this is something a huge low hanging fruit in a lot of different departments like marketing, advertisement, and anything that you name, you would probably have some potential here. So I'd like to take you through the prompts and I'm going to start with the very first prompt, which is like kind of crashing the internet at this particular point. So it's a very simple prompt. You can just go there and then say, make this into Ghibli studio Ghibli style anime. So you can give an input image. This is an image of a South Indian actor. And then once you give that, then it is going to take this image, tries to restore all the characteristics of the image, but apply that filter, apply that layer on top of it. That is like a studio Ghibli from Japan. Now, again, this poses a very interesting question. For example, do you think that this is a violation of copyright? I know OpenAI did it very intentionally because I think in Japan, you can train content on copyrighted properties, but it is very, it's a very interesting uh, discussion to have. I don't have an answer at this particular point, but this is something that we should have as a society, I would say. But if you want to access it, this is currently available for ChatGPT plus users. And Sam Altman just a couple of hours back promised that free users will get eight entries per day. So this is going to come. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So click new chat, make sure that you have got 4O. And once you have 4O, then go here, just type slash and click image. And then you can just literally say anything that you want. I can say create a LinkedIn profile cover for a person named Abdul Majid who is running a YouTube YouTube channel, one little coder. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Uh, sometimes it takes more time. It, it depends upon, I think, the server load and the GPU. And I think generally this kind of an image generation technique takes time. So I'm going to leave it as it is here. So you can do a cover design. Like for example, I just said, uh, I want to create a, a O'Reilly style, but I didn't say O'Reilly. So I said like just something. I want vibe coding as the title. And then I said the best bucket of bugs, as we know with every vibe coding product and one little coder, and it did a pretty good job. Then I gave an image and then asked her to do it. It did mostly fine. I would say like, if you see this input image, it took O really there. It took the color combination and it took the bugs from the previous image and it said best bucket of bugs. And then it did it. So if you were to create cover images for books, I think this is going to do a pretty good job of it. Then the, interesting, most interesting aspect is the way you can use it for product placements. I mean, if you have used comfy UI, if you have used control net adapters, uh, all these things, like you can replace everything. For example, I gave this phone, only mistake I did here is that the phone is not like a single phone. I've given like half screen, the front and half the back. So you would see that it has kind of butchered the phone image, but I just gave this and said, please create a beautiful female model, whether the model is beautiful or not, that is in the eyes of the beholder, hold and pose with this phone, make sure that the pose has a biting a nice olive. And you can see this is what ChatGPT thinks as a beautiful model. And I don't know if you think, is she beautiful? I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, once you have this image, then you can see that uh, there are certain deformities here. The stick is kind of like bent here. The phone is kind of messed up here, but you can just iterate it, like give another image and then ask it to give a much better one. We will actually probably test it. And then this is, uh, this is something that, you know, it's, it's like, uh, easily you can go to any advertisement agency and then say that I can create product placements for you in a couple of minutes, um, even like a couple of seconds, because this is something that every company wants to do, and then you can do it. And now it's not just, you know, images with a model. So for example, what I did is I took a masala packet. I don't know if more, if any of you understand masala, if you're an Indian, you would probably know masala, like Indians cook 
food with masala it's like the spices the powder that goes inside whatever we cook so this is something called everest chicken masala so i just gave this and then i said make a rajasthani old man hold this and convert it into an ad in the 90s style indian ad and i didn't give copy i didn't give the man i didn't give anything so i didn't give model i didn't give the copy of that i didn't give anything except this prompt once i gave this it just took this and then said masala ko Masa- masalo ka king which means i think the king of masalas it added the product to the hand uh, the man's hand and exactly like what i had in my mind when i asked for this man this prompt is this exact man and yeah i've got it now if you are paying close attention you would know that there are certain issues with the text the smaller text but for a bigger part this is pretty good like it it does a pretty good job of the size of the image that i gave and it does most of the things well except the smaller ones and again like imagine you are giving a newspaper ad it doesn't even matter how big this is going to be or even if it is on a website for a paid pl- uh, ppc ad so this is this is stunning to be honest like the fact that you can take a product and then uh, just give a prompt and it can create an entire advertisement for you is really something that you should not uh, sleep on the next thing is um uh, for example like if you are a ui designer or a, you know you're on dribble and other platforms you can simply go here and then say create a ui mock up for sas call little coder labs on iphone so it can create this iphone image okay with whatever that you want inside so in this case i didn't give any image or whatever it is i wanted it to naturally understand and think or do something about little coder labs and it created this iphone image and then it gave me the ui with a very perfect like um, like a product wireframe but what you also can do here is that now you can start uh, cheating people and <laughs> probably like that's what people are going to do with this catfishing online dating and everything is going to get ruined because you can create an entire instagram profile okay all you have to do is go say show me an instagram profile page from 2024 for a woman named jemma scout and it created an instagram profile for a woman named jemma scout so it just naturally assumed that this woman is a blogger and photographer love natural nature and travel jemmascout.com the website doesn't exist it says that she has got 560 posts 14000 followers 732 following but the most important part or the stunning part for me here is that it managed to create the photo of these fictional jemma scout at different places like what she might have uploaded on instagram and it kept as much as it could with the character consistency like this girl this girl this girl this girl all of them try to be as similar as the profile picture it created so when you ask it to create this instagram profile it has the understanding that the images that are uploaded within the instagram profile should also be relevant to it and it is something that i found pretty fascinating then again if you can do instagram then you can cheat people on linkedin then this is jemma scout on linkedin and uh, it just said passionate product manager with 6 plus years of experience and mind you all the text like every single word every single letter that you see here is generated is is rendered using openai g4 oh sorry openai 440 image gen it's not something that i have edited i've used i've given this is literally out of the image generation and i think this is one of the best character generation that we have ever seen until now even openai's own example like if you see here for this particular prompt it's a very long prompt here so a wide image taken with a phone of a glass whiteboard in a room overlooking the bay bridge the field of view shows a woman writing a sporting sporting a t-shirt with a large openai logo so you can see all these things and this basically created all these things just zero shot now once you see this you might also think about one thing how censored this is because every time open ai or any big company launches something then it is usually censored but in this case it is not censored but again let's go back to this it it created the linkedin profile cover that i can use it i think it because i said abdul majid it's just naturally assumed i'm a brown person or what very surprising okay um, so okay anyways i am a brown person so there is no harm i'm uh, no offense taken and i wear glasses uh, on my youtube videos so you can see that it managed to have the youtube logo the youtube logo is very good abdul majid as a font is there one little coder is there and it gave me whatever i wanted so this is like a linkedin cover picture profile picture that i can just add it to my linkedin and you can see this is just a single prompt i didn't hire a graphic designer i didn't have to open photoshop or photopea and this is all done zero shot and you would be stunned to see what other things that you can do zero shot okay Uh, we were talking about uh, 
sensor so if you talk about censoring so you can see here i have uh, taken a show from apple tv this is uh, severance and i told it to make a book covers uh, from uh, severance and make it like uh, 1900s book and slightly worn and then here is what uh, so if it is highly censored it wouldn't do because severance is part of a show and you know you know that these tools usually don't do disney images and a bunch of other things so it did a pretty good job and if we can take this to further one more level in terms of uh, let's say censored i've got an image uh, that might i don't know how you might take i said create a photo of elon musk crying for ice cream in front of donald trump dressed as mcdonalds and this is the image it managed to create i mean it's elon musk it's donald trump there is an ice cream there is mcdonalds and uh, you couldn't have asked for anything better than this i mean this is completely almost like i would say like 95% uncensored i think you can't obviously create ns nsfw images but if you were to create images that are like creatively good and you know you don't want to think about censorship i think this is the best i would say like i can close my eyes and say that mid journey doesn't exist anywhere closer to this in terms of censorship and these kind of images and it is very uh, fascinating to see what open ai has managed to pull off with this thing the next thing is you can give um, a picture of a human being and then you can give a dress and then you can ask uh, it to make him wear this i think this as a prompt works particularly fine if uh, your model is mostly not indian i think it works very well with white people but uh, here in this case this is kunal shah a ceo of a famous company in india that keeps on giving coins to people so i just gave his photo and you can see the final output is hardly closer i would say like if if maybe if you are not an indian you would find it very similar but if you are an indian i think there is no similarity except that he has got a glass and then he has got a beard so and you know it kind of like kept the body posture like from a thin man it uh, took it to you know slightly a bulky man but i would say like still um, for uh, other skin tones i'm not sure if it does a pretty good job the next thing interesting thing is it can also create newspaper copies i went ahead and then said create a newspaper article showing ghibli studio is suing open ai for violation of copyright and add some familiar faces so again once again i just did not give any asset i didn't give the copy i didn't give uh, the images that has to be added and you can see that it managed to add uh, the founder of ghibli studio a uh, studio ghibli and accuses chat gpt maker of copyright violation and if i post this on linkedin and half of the people would honestly believe that this is a real newspaper article because it looks real and like i said before all the text here are rendered it's not something that we use photoshop or something to put it added there it is all generated or rendered by ai in this case chat gpt 40 image in there are a lot more other things that you can do so you can also test it for reasoning for example if it can understand and create something so i gave a, a prompt that says show what happens when you try to pour water into an already full glass so what we expect here is that for it to understand the state of what happens when you try to pour in an already full glass and then i would say like it did a pretty good job of water overflowing the full glass there are certain things it cannot do so for example i would love to show you one quick example i don't know if uh, it is going to be faster i can say create a clock um showing the time 5:30 uh, an analog clock an analog create an analog clock i think this is still a thing that uh, open ai has not solved maybe they didn't focus on this training data set much like when they were creating the model in itself but uh, this is something that uh, you would see most likely it would fail it's usually hit or miss and then there are like other things that you can do like uh, the entire internet is crazy at this point with what you can do you can go to the internet like if you have got your own picture everybody is doing with their family picture so you can go to the internet and get a family picture i don't know whose family picture i should get family picture of maybe elon musk maybe i don't know why i keep on creating elon musk okay let's do elon okay let's go with elon musk shift ls maybe the latest one this is the latest one and uh, i'm going to give this one here okay this is the one i'm going to copy this maybe i can screenshot this okay and come back here just slash image make this into a studio ghibli 
style anime i mean you can play with the prompt you can do different things here but once you do this thing it is going to get it to the work and then create a stunning beautiful cute very nice looking image if you have got family members you should definitely do uh, like i said like this is a prompt create an analog clock showing the time 5:30 and then you can see it's nothing like 5:30 so this is it's a beautiful analog clock i can give it to the clock like the clock is stunning and uh, the design is good the font is good the typography is good but it doesn't handle the hands really well i think this is one thing that i found it doesn't do very well and then the second thing is when you have got a product placement sometimes it does text deformities uh, so it doesn't do that well and the third thing is if you have got an indian skin tone or other skin tones like one thing i tried with this indian and then it doesn't do a pretty good job of indian skin tones when it has to transfer things from it but anything else like there are a lot of other things uh, for example whatever you have doing with comfy ui take an image do some transformation and then do something else everything is now within one ui so this one chat gpt's ui and if you are a plus subscriber i think you have got a very uh, generous rate limit i would say until now i have not hit rate limit i've been crazily trying this out and then finally um, it is something that we should discuss or like what about like the copyrights and all the other information i've seen recently that some us court ruled that for ai generated images you can't claim copyrights but anyways uh, if you are going to make a commercial product out of it it is still not available as an api endpoint but this is going to be one of the lowest hanging fruits for a lot of different products and services especially like if you are running an agency if you are a marketing agency if you want to do copy um, copy plus advertisement if you are trying to do product placement i think this is going to be stunning and look at this image so this input image is this made on earth by humans and then there is like this kid with the glass and there's elon and i think shiv uh, all of them are there and it did a pretty good job i mean the background doesn't have a lot of colors but still i think for this image for the input that we gave this output is honestly like stunning like i can't believe that you know this is all made by ai and we just have to dig more for more copyright information if you're into that kind of thing but for now it's highly uncensored and one of the best products out there on the internet that just came out and then started working stunningly without any issue let me know what you feel about it if you have already tried it but if you have not tried it I strongly encourage you to go try it out and if you are not on free plan uh, sorry if you are not on paid plan and you want some images to be tested please let me know i'm happy to take your image and then if your family photo or something is there i'm happy to give this and then turn it into some style images and then give it back to you see you in another video happy prompting